Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this week I'm doing a bit of watercolor painting. Um, well, kind of, um, in the sense that it's not actually this week. So it's this week's video, but this was recorded about a month ago. It's just taken me a while to edit it and to decide what I'm going to talk about over the video. So anyway, this month, December, 2023, I haven't really done any watercolor painting. Uh, it's been all charcoal and soft pastels. I just sort of go through these phases of using one medium for a while and then sort of switching back maybe to the wet media, the watercolor, then back to the dry again. It just adds a bit of variety, I guess. This painting is a little bit different from what I usually do. So if you've followed me on this channel for any sort of length of time, you probably know that I don't use references, that like almost never use any sort of reference, um, photographs, sketches, whatever. I prefer to work from imagination and memory. It's just the way that I like to do painting. I'm not saying that using reference is bad or good or anything. It's just, you know, we all have our different ways of doing things. But on this occasion, I did use a little reference, kind of. So you can just about see it in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. It's just a little charcoal sketch. And it was mainly just an idea for a composition. Um, but as I say, I'm not, I'm not copying that reference. I'm not, I'm not even worried if my final painting actually looks anything like the reference. It's just not the way I work. It's just there as moral support, if you like. Um, it's just a bit of inspiration, an idea. So it gets me onto the whole idea. I've maybe talked, probably talked about this before, but the whole idea of using references, copying, being inspired by. In the past, I was kind of very much against copying other people's art. These days, I say these days, it's like six months later, maybe. But these days, I've maybe mellowed a little bit on this. I think copying is good, especially in the early days. Um, copying someone else's art can, it can give you something there. It's, it is, as I say, a bit of moral support, if you like. You have something solid to work from. When you're working just from imagination or memory, there's nothing tangible in front of you to copy from, obviously. So it, it can seem a bit more daunting, perhaps, when you're getting started. So when you're getting started, of course, you're trying to also figure out how to use whatever medium you're trying to use. The one problem with copying is you've got to be a little bit careful when you're getting started. Um, you have to remember that the art that you're copying may have been produced by an artist who has 20, 30, 40 years of experience. And their artwork might look quite simple, easy to do, but when you try and do it, you find that actually it's not. Um, and, and that's sort of a, a trait of really good artists sometimes, I think. Um, you know, they can, their artwork looks very simple, but actually it's quite tricky to produce. There's a, that's a skill in itself, I think. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is remember if you're getting started and you're copying and your final results don't look like what you're trying to copy. Um, you may be a bit disappointed with it. Don't be too hard on yourself. Remember that that artist has maybe 20, 30 years head start on you and you're not going to just pick up a paintbrush for the first time or second time and produce something that a, and the artist with 30 or 40 years experience can produce. Just say it doesn't work like that. In anything really, not just art, of course. The other thing about references is you don't have to copy them. You can use them just as inspiration, um, like a starting point, a jump off point where you can create your own art. So you can look at it, you can look at the composition, the colors used, 
and that might inspire you. Maybe just the composition inspires you. Maybe just the colors that they're using inspires you. And you can go off and do your own thing then. Or there's some sort of halfway house where you're copying bits. Maybe you're copying the composition, but you're moving things around or changing things a little bit. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is there's lots of ways of using references. Um, everything from basic copying right through to just it's there as a bit of an inspiration and everything in between. This is getting just about finished now, this watercolour painting. And this is really sort of what I would call an impressionist style, or at least impressionist watercolour style painting. I remember watching a video when I first got into watercolour a few years ago, and there was a guy saying you should never dab at the watercolour. You should always use smooth brush strokes. So I thought, well, okay, what happens if I do dab the paint? What happens if I just completely go against what his advice is? And that's how I sort of discovered this idea of recreating something that has a bit of an impressionist look to it. At least I think it has. Other people may disagree. But dabbing on pure bright color, you can see the dabs of yellow in this and it's green where the yellow and blue mix. It just creates a different feeling. It doesn't, it's not a, a usual watercolor painting perhaps. The sky is more standard maybe, but I think the rest of it is a, a little bit different just because of the way I apply the paint to the paper. And that's another thing maybe is, you know, when you're watching these YouTube videos or reading blogs, don't always take the advice as some sort of carved in stone commandment that you have to follow. It's not really like that in art. Um, you can take people's advice and you can also go in the completely opposite direction from their advice. And in both cases, it can work. Um, I'm glad that I watched that guy's video. I, I don't remember what channel it was or anything. Um, but I'm also glad that I broke the rules that he was putting down because then it, it led me on to this sort of impressionist style of, I think impressionist style of watercolor painting. The final painting itself, it's not my favorite one, but I'm glad I had the chance to do a bit of watercolor painting. Uh, I'm glad I have the chance to do some painting. A lot of people would like to, but for different reasons, just can't do art. So, it's always, you know, good to be thankful that we at least can sit down and do some art, um, whatever the final results are. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching and listening and hopefully see you again in next week's video.